Hello and uh, welcome back. So I'd like to do a, a quick follow-up on the previous video. About two months ago I checked my uh, furnace filter for exotic radionuclei and I was surprised to find uh, beryllium-7. So, so I kept the filter and reanalyzed it. Uh, beryllium-7 has a half-life of 53 days and to be sure I didn't misreport beryllium-7 I checked the activity going down over the course of its half-life. So, uh, so I checked the filter again after 42 days and again after 57 days. And here are the results. The, uh, the original samples was about uh, 436 counts adjusted for the uh, acquisition time. It's about 471 counts. And then after 42 days, 318 counts. And 57 days was only 263 counts. So we can see there's a clear decrease. So I'll spare you the math, but uh, here we can see um, what happened if you plug in the numbers in this equation that uh, allows you to find out the half-life of any given radionuclei uh, according to the uh, original counts. And we get to about 67 days, which is not too far from the theorized 53 days of beryllium-7. This is a rough estimate based on what I can calculate, and it's still pretty close to the truth. We don't know how long the beryllium-7 has been accumulating on the filter. It could have been days, hours, weeks, months, we don't know. If we look at the spectrum, in this area, around 477 keV, there is nothing else naturally occurring that could be present. So I'm pretty confident that this is indeed beryllium-7. Now if we look at the spectrum again, we can see a drift between one measurement and another. This is due to the temperature. Sodium iodide uh, detectors are highly sensitive to the temperature shift. That's why we have to do a calibration for every single measurement. And that's what I've been doing. That's why I'm confident with my results, even if it isn't uh, perfectly accurate. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I, uh, I'd like to see you again on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up if you like it, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching again. Damn it.